slow you. All right, shallow wall. <clears throat> it's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina. Came back from another video. Before we go any further, bring all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakodash. The Bible star apostle and elders of great millstone for teaching us for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings so for like other nation of Israel today to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. You know, we just gonna get into a quick lesson on repentance. You know that you know this is the you know this is you know uh, we're coming down to the wire. To where the doors of mercy, you know, the doors of mercy that Yahweh by Shema that Yahweh by Shema Shah is going to have upon you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, are coming to a close. You know, all hell is about to break loose. You see tensions rise rising against America and Iran. You see, uh, um, you see war, World War Three. You know, basically at the door. You see the persecution, you see, uh, you see Israelites, you know, you see, uh, people that are out there preaching the Bible, getting arrested, you know, you see, uh, that we're at the end, you know, these are the signs of the times and you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans who are still lollygagging, who've been watching the videos, you know, it's time to repent, you know, it's time to make an effort to, to seek out by Shema Shai. Okay. Um, you got a precept? Um... Get Matthew's four. Matthew's four. <coughs> it's the same Matthew. Chapter four. Mm -hmm. Same Matthew, chapter four. Uh, seventeen. Yep, this is Matthew chapter four, verse seventeen. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach yeah go ahead and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand yeah and that's what we're doing through the spirit and privy of Shai. Am I right here yeah, yeah. God, and that's what we're doing through the spirit and privy of Shai. we you know we got there on the highways and byways some of uh second chronicles 7 and 14 we got there on the highways and byways and we tell our people to repent you know for the kingdom of heaven is at hand you know mm -hmm. Uh, Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. Read the Matthew's one more time. Yep. It's the Saint Matthew chapter four verse seventeen. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach mm -hmm. and to say, "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." Yeah, it's preaching the gospel, the good news, and you know, and that's what we're doing. We're preaching the good news, telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know, we tell you that um, that you're the chosen people of the Lord. And as being the chosen people, we have a standard to live by. We have to keep the commandments to the best of our abilities. You know? And we also warn you of the pending death and destruction that's coming to America. You know, race riots, famine, a famine of food and water. You know, there's not going to be food in these grocery stores. You know, your McDonald's, your Popeye's is all going to be closed down. You know, and the only way you're going to be able to be stable is by seeking the Lord. Read one more time about the show. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it said Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, mm -hmm. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes, yeah, so Yahweh Shai, he preached repentance, you know. He told our people to stop breaking the law, statute, commandments, you know, and to turn back sorrowfully. Unto the God of the Bible, show some remorse, you know, that you actually are sorry for all the things that you've done in your life, you know? Mm -hmm. You got a What about 2 Chronicles? Oh, well, he got it? Okay. Get 2 Chronicles, bro. Right. This is 2 Chronicles. Chapter Speak up a little bit. Get Joshua 24 and 14. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Yeah, so it said, if my people shall humble themselves, because that's the problem with Jake. You know, Jake does not want to humble themselves. They don't want to admit that they are in the wrong. They want to think that their lifestyle, that they, the way that they've been doing things is the right way. You know? Mm -hmm. You're from top. This is Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, should humble themselves 
Uh huh. And pray. So you want to humble yourselves. You know, you're supposed to hear this word and it's supposed to convict you to humble yourself. You know, that, like, oh, why are we in this predicament? Because Jake is always asking himself why they're in this predicament. You know, why are we getting uh, shot down in the street, hands up, don't shoot? You know, why are we living in the ghetto and the slums? Well, if you only realize, if you humble yourself and realize that it's your fault that you're in it, that you're in this predicament, it's your fault that we're, you know, it's our fault that we're in America, you know, um, serving hardcore bondage, and we have to pray and ask the Al Bashmat Shai for forgiveness. You know, go ahead and pray and seek my faith and seek my faith, which is the scriptures. You know, seek, seek the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures that's being brought up by our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men on down. Go ahead. And turn from the wicked ways. And turn from their wicked ways. So the Yahweh Shema Shai wants you to repent. He wants you to turn from your wickedness and return unto him. Guess Hosea Rock 17 and 25. Start 24, actually. Go ahead. Then will I hear from heaven. Then will the Lord hear your cry from heaven, you know? Because we're catching the holy hell down here in America, you know, working these uh, dead-end jobs. You know, barely have enough money to pay the rent. You're um, we're breathing in chemtrails all day long. Brothers are waking up with um, uh, massive headaches, um, body cramps. You know, uh, high inflammation. You know, we're under these curses. You know, you're getting paid. You know, just to be broke the next day. This is why we need we need a savior. This is why we have to repent, so we can have a chance to get saved out of America. Because we, as a nation, we need a savior. But only the elect are going to realize that and repent unto Yahweh by Shema Shai and beg for forgiveness. Because that's what you do when you pray. You, you, you're you um you're beseeching the Lord, which means to beg. Go ahead, bro. And we'll forgive, and, and we'll forgive their sin mm -hmm. and we'll hear their land. Yeah, read it um, one more time about Wisha. Just that towards the end and, and humble them and pray and, uh, in terms it, of their wickedness. Read that says, part. Humble themselves mm -hmm. and pray and seek my face uh -huh. and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. And only then will Yahweh Shema Shai begin to hear your cry. You know, after you turn from your wickedness, you know. Because the Lord heareth not sinners, you know. But he that doeth the will of the Most High, you know, him he heareth. You know, so you have to do the will of Yahweh Shema Shai if you want the Lord to start to hear you. Go ahead. And will forgive their sin. Yeah, then the Lord's going to he he hear from heaven. He's going to forgive your sins. You know, because that's what we need. We need our sins forgiven. And the only way that's going to be done by believing in who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And we'll heal, heal their land. Yep. <coughs> Go ahead. What do we got? This is uh, Surat chapter 17, verse 25. Return unto the Lord. Yeah, when it says return unto the Lord, it means we're to repent unto the Lord, you know? Turn back to that straight and narrow path, the path of difficulty. Because, you know, few there be that find it. Only few are going to be able to get saved out of America. Not many, only a few. So return onto the path of difficulty, you know, acknowledge that, you know, the reason why we're in this hellhole is because we went off because we sinned against the Lord. You know, if we want any chance of hell of making out of here we gotta we gotta we gotta stop eating the pork you know we gotta uh, stop eating shrimp crab lobster stop celebrating these pagan holidays you know uh, um stop selling your birthday uh worshiping these false idols which are no gods at all go ahead mm -hmm. from the top this is Sirach chapter 17 verse 25 return unto the lord mm-hmm Forsake thy sins. Yeah, forsake thy sins. Being what? Cast your sins behind you, you know? Scriptures talk about being born again, you know, being becoming a new creature. You know, we're supposed to become dead to this world and seek after the righteousness of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which is by faith. Okay. It reads on, make thy prayer before his face. So you pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai because we're going to go off, you know? We're going to be uh, slothful. We're going to be uh, lazy. You know, we're going to uh, offend brothers. We're going to uh, slip up, mess up. But you have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. Go ahead. And offend less. And offend less. Here it is, you know. You can you offend less, you know. The dietary law, that's a law we can easily keep, you know. Um, not getting tattoos. Not uh, not uh, uh, um, running trains on women. You know, sleeping, uh, having orgies. 
not sleeping with the next man's woman. These are all things that we can uh, avoid, you know, avoid doing, you know. But you offend less, you know. When you do offend, you ask for forgiveness, you know. We're supposed to be praying and asking that Yahweh by Shema Shai take not his Holy Spirit upon us every day, you know. But first, you have to take the initiative and, um, you know, being born again, which means to come back and not so you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, trust in who the world ignorantly calls God, Jesus Christ, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, and to uh, begin to offend less. Go ahead, Nicole. This is Acts. Chapter 3, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Yeah, so the Bible is telling you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent. Repent, you know, which means to turn back, start for the Repent ye therefore and be converted. You look up that word converted, it, convert, it means to make a change, you know. So you have to make a change within yourself, you know, like Michael Jackson, look at the man in the mirror, you know, you have to look at the man in the mirror. And realize that he ain't shit, you know, and that we need the Lord on our side. Go ahead. That your sins may be blotted out. The only way your sins are going to be blotted out, only way your sins are going to be forgiven is by you making a change. Because what did Moses, what did Yahweh by Shema Shai tell Moses, you know? Those that sin against me, him will I, them will I blot out, out of my book of life, you know? We're trying to be a part of the book of life, you know? Those that are going to be saved on the first go around. Real quick, can I bring the priest up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, finish that out though. Okay. It says that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah, go ahead. And the time of refreshing is now. You know, it's where it's supposed to refresh you. Scripture say, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? You know? So this time, this is the time of refreshing, you know? And we're going to be fully refreshed. Lord's only we make it out here and get on those chariots and we get those new bodies. Go ahead. I was just going to get what sin was. Yeah, go ahead. This is First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Yeah, for whosoever committeth sin, that whosoever is talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because you were the only ones given the law. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. Yeah, so you're committing sin. You know, you're doing these things which displeases y'all by Shema Shah when you're breaking the law, statute, commandments to the Bible. I got another one. Go ahead. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Yeah, repent and be baptized. Now, is that telling our people to go get dumped in water? No. You know, what did Paul say? Yahweh Shai sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. You're being baptized by the word, you know? It's a spiritual thing, you know? Yahweh Shema Shai, it's about renewing the inward man. Because out, the outward man is not perfect. The outward man is going to make mistakes. It's about renewing the inward man. Read it one more time. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Yeah, repent and be baptized. And you're going to be baptized by this living water, by the words of Yahweh Shema Shai. And doing, being a doer of the word, and not a hearer only. Go ahead, bro. Every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yeah, because the name is important. Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, that's the name. That's the Lord's name in the ancient Hebrew. The world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. What he he saves or he delivers. You know, and we're hoping and praying that you know the heavenly Father Yahweh sends His only begotten Son back to save us. You know, out of this hellhole. But only, only unto those that repent. Um, actually, go back to Sirach uh, 25 and read verse 26. Go ahead, Nikon. It says, For the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm hmm. Yeah, so if you repent, you know, you're gonna have, your sins are going to be forgiven, and you're going to receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of understanding, to understand these words. Yahweh Shai is going to come unto you and sup with you, you know? To where uh, you have a chance of being stable when all hell's breaking loose. Any more than that, bro? That's it. Come on. Um, someone hold Joshua 24 and 14, and then can you get that, Sharad? You said 25 and. Verse 26. You read 25 already? Read verse 26. Uh, no, I did. Um... You told me what I was reading before? Sharad 17 and 26. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. This is Sharad chapter 17, verse 26. You finished 25 earlier, right? Okay, okay. we'll read it again. 
No, nah, you're right. Read 26. Uh, verse 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. Yeah, it's all brute 4 and 31. It says turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. You know? So we have to turn to Yahweh Shema and uh and basically turn our back to iniquity and what's iniquity you know sin upon sin the brother brought out breaking the commandments and that's what this world promotes you know iniquity go ahead bro yep. it reads and turn away from iniquity for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health yeah so he's gonna lead us out of darkness and this world is the whole world is in gross darkness you know here it is in America. You know, it's promoted that the sin, that the laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible are broken. You know, those who break the commandments are rewarded. You know, but that's darkness. You know, so what Yahweh Shema Shah is going to lead us out of darkness to the light of health. You know, look up that word health. It means whole. You know, they that be sick need not a physician, but they, uh, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. You know. The Lord called not the righteous to repentance, but sinners, because what well, we are sinners, you know, and as sinners we have to repent. Mm -hmm. And it reads, finish it out. Okay. And hate thou abomination, vehement, vehemently. Yeah, so we're supposed to passionately hate wickedness, you know. You said Baruch. What is it? Four. I think thirty-one. Four thirty-one. Oh, this sure. is Baruch chapter four, verse thirty-one. Or is it twenty-eight? Go ahead. Yeah. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High. Yeah, so we went astray from Yahweh by Shema Shai. We stopped following his commandments. We just continued from our heritage, you know? Go ahead. So being returned, seek him ten times more. You know, in the world, you know, whatever we Jake get uh whatever we put our hand to, you know, we were good at it, you know. Whether it be basketball, whether it be video games, whether it be chasing after women, you know, we did it with all our might, you know, so being returned onto the way of righteousness, on the way how we're really supposed to live our lives. We're supposed to be seeking out by Shema Shai ten times more, meaning what the same energy and effort that you put into chasing your woman around you know, that you put into playing video games, uh, whatever it may be, mastering your craft, whatever you're good at in the world, may have been blunt rolling, freaking, you know, uh, whatever it may be, you know, you're supposed to repent and turn onto the Lord. You might have been a tattoo artist. You might be a really good at getting people with tattoos, or you might be able to seduce women really good. So being returned onto the light, you know, and following Yahweh Shai, which is the light, you um you're supposed to uh seek the Lord ten times more. Joshua. Yeah, you got any precepts? You early really thing to come? No, I'm looking right now. Okay, go ahead. This is uh Joshua chapter twenty four. You said fourteen. Yes, sir. Joshua chapter twenty four verse fourteen. And now therefore, fear the Lord, and serve Him in sincerity. And in truth. Yeah, so what? It's important that we fear Yahweh by Shema and Shai. You know, Scripture say, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. I mean, what? We threaten you with the word of the Lord. We tell you about the punishments, you know, and the penalties of not serving the Lord. You know, Scripture say, all they that hate the Lord do love death, you know. And we made an agreement to seek the Lord our power, and that whoever wouldn't seek the Lord, you know, shall get uh, put to death, whether man or woman. Whether um, man or woman, uh, uh, whether rich or poor, whether man or woman, the Lord is no respect of persons. Read it one more time. Mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. Yeah, now, therefore, fear the Lord, because fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. The fear of the Lord, they that fear the Lord would not disobey his word, you know? Scripture say, if you desire wisdom to keep the commandments, you know? The wisdom of how you're supposed to live your life. Go ahead. And it reads, verse 14, Now therefore fear the Lord, mm -hmm. and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And when you serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth, you know, uh, how do you serve the Lord first and foremost? By keeping the commandments, having faith in who the world originally calls Jesus Christ. You know, at some point in time, when you get built up, you have to go out there and preach this word, you know. And it's uh, now or never, you know. You see, in guys, they be on the 
you see an old video that a brother might post you know you've seen a guy saying edifying video you know it's like three years ago you click on their channel and nothing you know you don't want to be that guy mm -hmm. that never went out because then you're going to be condemned when all hell is breaking loose yep it reads on and serve him in sincerity and in truth mm -hmm. and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood Good. and in Egypt. So put the way they got all hell is about to break loose, you know, and you see the scripture say as it was in the days of the uh, in the days of Noah. So shall also be in the days of son of man in the days of Noah. People were, were worshiping uh, idols. They're worshiping false gods, you know, and you see that being done today. But what who got delivered? from the flood who got delivered from that great destruction that was brought upon the earth those that trusted in the lord you know really noah you know and through that his household got saved you know mm -hmm. go ahead yep and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in egypt mm -hmm. and and serve ye the lord yeah and serve ye the lord you know Read the next verse. Verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Most High. You, what? They're demonizing the truth now. They're showing, they're trying to, you know, put a, uh, they're trying to dim the light of Yahweh Shai, you know? They're trying to uh, make it as if we are wicked, you know, for speaking the truth, you know? You know, they if you tell someone that, uh, um, that you shouldn't eat pork, they look at you like you're crazy. They, if you tell someone that you should live a healthier lifestyle, they look at you like you're bugged out, you know? That you shouldn't be trying to sleep with the next man woman. Or you tell someone you don't smoke, you know? That seems crazy. So if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, because what they call good, evil, and evil, good in this wicked world. Read it again. Yep. Verse 15, Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Yeah, choose you t this day. You know, 2019, I believe it's uh, January 7th now. Mm, 2020. Uh, 2020, that's how fast the time is mm -hmm. moving. You know, it's already 2020. You know, the wallet, bro. Uh, 2020, was it January 7th now? Yep. You know? Or January sixth, still, you know, it's about to be, yeah. uh, it's about to be January seventh. You know, choose you this day. You know, make your decision. Don't tarry to seek you out by Shemot Shai. We'll close on that. Get to rock five and seven. It says, choose you today whom you're gonna serve. Finish it up, bro. Mm -hmm. Choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the powers which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, mm -hmm. or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yeah, the brothers here at Great Moonstone, you know, we're going to serve Yahweh by Shema and Shai. We're going to continue. Lord's willing to be part of the elect. We're going to continue to believe on the Lord unto the end. You know, we're going to serve the Lord. Because, well, we see the light at the end of this, at the end of the tunnel. We see we see a, a, a great reward, you know, for those who endure unto the end. We see that the way of righteousness is the way they go. We see that uh, repenting to Yahweh by Shema and Shai is our, uh, really our best and only option. Mm -hmm. That's all that. Yeah. You got any precepts to come before we bring this to Rock 5 and 7? No, this is it. Okay, go ahead. This is Sirach, chapter <coughs> 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to Yahweh by Shema Washai. Are you holding anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, it says make no tarrying to turn to Yahweh by Shema Washai. So don't wait to turn and to repent unto Yahweh by Shema Washai. Don't wait to call the Lord's uh, number, you know? Don't, because, uh, don't, you don't want to, uh, uh, don't wait to call the Lord's number and ask him for forgiveness. Go ahead. And put not off from day to day. And put not off from day to day. You know, scriptures say, uh, be ye transformed by the root. Uh, um, yeah, get on um, real quick. Can you get Second Corinthians 4 and 16? This is Second right now? Yeah. This is Second Corinthians. Six. Four and sixteen. Oh, four and sixteen, sir. You okay. This is a uh, second Corinthians chapter four, verse sixteen. Yep. 
for which cause we it's like it, verse 16 for which cause we faint not mm -hmm. but though our outward man perish yeah Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yeah, so the inward man should be getting renewed day by day. You know, how do you do that? By reading the scriptures, watching brothers of videos, meditating, you know, praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai, restraining, uh, rest rest restraining from evil. You know, that's how you do that. That's it? No, oh, no, that's it, 16. Yep, yep. go ahead, bro. This is the rock, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying. To turn to Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. and put not off from day to day. Go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Washai come forth. Yeah, I was watching this video today where they were saying that if World War Three does happen, it's going to happen suddenly. It's going to catch a lot of people off guard. You know, but not to those that are sitting there upon their watch. Not, not to those that are watching and praying. You know, that we may be able to uh, be worthy to stand before the Son of Man and escape these things that shall come to pass, you know? So we don't want this uh, truth to, we don't want the, the, the prophecies of Yahweh Shema Shah to come upon us suddenly, you know? So you should repent, you know? And watch for the words of the Lord uh, uh, to come to pass. Go ahead. It says, in the secure, and in thy security, Thou should be destroyed. Yeah, our security, which is your safety net, should be in the Lord, you know? you Our people um, trust in idols, and that's their security. They trust in their jobs. That's their security. They trust in their women, you know? Their food supply. That's their security, you know? Your security should be in Yahweh by Shema Shai, where we're going to be safe. Go ahead. And perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, the Lord is bringing vengeance upon the earth. But unto those that repent, you know, he's going to offer them, uh, he offers them return, you know, that they may up dwell safely in the time of Jacob's trouble. But, you know, brothers, got anything they want to say before we close out? But Lord's willing, you brothers, were edified to the spirit and probably out by Shema and Shai. These lessons that we do are only for the, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. You know, brothers, remember, keep repenting unto Yahweh by Shema and Shai. We're almost out of this hellhole called Babylon the Great, according to the Bible. We give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, the great Muslim, who teach us the truth, for according to the Bible, rule well in peace and blessings, so for like of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.